Come on, Eric, get on the cart. We're going to be late for the show. I said, we're going to, come on, let's go. We don't hurry, we'll be late. Are you guys ready to get the show started? I said, are you ready to get the show started? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be bringing your host up to the stage. His name is Driz. He's the form for the truce. He's had his own CBS radio show. He's been at the world famous Hollywood Improv. Ladies and gentlemen, with a big round of applause, help me welcome Driz. Spanish speaking people out there. I'm sensitive to that stuff, man, seriously. For my Caucasians, welcome to Fiesta de Locos 12. <laughs> you guys are doing such a good thing down here, I love it. Give it up for yourselves, please. Good stuff. And, and guys, come on, there's a lot of lovely ladies. Give it up for them right now, really. There's a lot of good looking people in here. Girls, you like the guys, give it up for that. You were all together, right? That's all good. Guys, give it up the guys. That's cool, too. You can have whatever you like, yeah? I heard that song. I was like, what if a serial killer sang that song? Yeah. It's like, I want your body, I need your body. Go and bury your body. As soon as I cut you with his knife. That's wrong, man. That's wrong. And let's say the dead guy could sing, you know, from above. He's like, oh, I've been buried underground too long. The cops is looking for my bones. Oh, me's dead and gone. Dead and gone. It's public school for you guys at work right here. You paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> Where are my laughing people at? They're right here. What am I talking about? It's, like, it's good, man. What in the way? Jingle the way. Get out of my way! Way. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, you know, I have a lot of Latin friends, and I speak a little Spanish. I know that bueno is good. Pinocho is better, right? <laughs> it's good. It's good. This uh, La Mesa here is confusing me. I'm, like, well, I'm good with it. It's good. We're going to work together. Uh, yeah, and I have a, a lot of Mexican friends, and I like to ask them, well, what was the first thing you thought, you know, when you came to the United States? You know? And uh, the one I thought of that was the best was, uh, my buddy said, I knew it was a good place when I seen the dogs have houses. <laughs> Chico's homes! Chico's. Now, I go to Mexico all the time, man. I love, I love the Mexican culture. I love the people. People of the sun. Coming back around again. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I went down. I had some uh, work done in a tooth, some teeth work. And, uh, it's a good place. It's a good place to go. She catch a buzz before you. They put you under and stuff. It's cool. But the procedure was great. Everything was cool. Woke up, felt fine. Didn't miss a kidney. I did not miss a kidney. I still don't. It's helping somebody. That's what counts. That's what you guys are doing. I love it. Don't take any organs from people, that's terrible. Some princesses here, though. Princesses, yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. Is that true? Is that right? Princess, okay, cool. You should have princess stickers on your cars, you guys. That's cool. It, it kind of is good for perverts like me on the freeway, you know? I see the glittery princess sticker up ahead, I go into a fog, you know? I got the pedal to the metal, you know? Go, princess sticker, oh my god. I'm in and out of traffic. You know, risking my lives and lives of others to see this princess. I roll up next to one the other day. <laughs> That's not a princess. <laughs> king, king and ogre is stolen the princess's car. <laughs> Killed him. Ogres. It's crazy. Man, yeah, my, my, my lady left me. It's terrible. Thanks. She, uh, she 
wonder space guy. You ever dealt with this? I need my space. I'm sure the ladies, you know, they need it. And uh, I helped her out. I went out and I rented her a storage unit. <laughs> Sunday speed day. Two, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday feed day. I gotta remember that. I gotta stop by Peter. Ah! Yeah. So I'm back out on the scene dating. It's been a while. Guys, fill me in. Buying a drink, slipping them rubies. We're still doing that. So, no. It's terrible. Um, well, I got a chance to uh, open for Elton John. Any fans of Elton John? It's much younger out there. It's his timeless music, right? Yeah. And uh, we had a portable bathhouse. We got to go back into. But uh, I got inspired for a little song. And uh, after the song, I'm gonna bring up the next comedian. Ready for the song? It's a little bit funny, this penis of mine. It's not one of those you can easily find. I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my strong hand. This one's for you. You can tell everybody this is my strong It may be quiet, little bud. Is my down. <laughs> I hope you don't cry, I hope you don't cry when I whip up my word. <laughs> and you see it's not big enough to make you squirm. <laughs> if I was a porn star, and then again, no. Or a man who makes puppets with his penis in a traveling oh, penis man. puppet show. Where the hell did this show go? Wow, God. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun for me. Was it fun for you? All right, all right. All right, we're getting this comedy train going here. Man. Uh, you guys ready for comedy? I am. <laughs> uh, next guy coming to the stage is a very funny guy. Obvious comedy show. What do you can expect, you know? He, he's hyper. Is there a defibrillator here? We need to, because this guy could explode at any minute. He's got crazy energy. He's straight out of Poway, California. Give it up, Mr. Willie Wilson, you guys. Willie Wilson. 